Welcome for another good, good lesson that I've prepared for you today. And in this case, we are going to examine what is known as the yield to maturity. That is the YTM. And we are going to talk about the redeemable debentures. Now, debentures are a special type of loan facility or securities which are normally issued by a firm when they want to raise some amount of capital. In this case, the indiv individuals or institutions to whom these debentures are issued becomes what is known as shareholders. Now, by virtue of being a shareholder and holding what is known as redeemable debentures, it means that these shareholders, they have the right, the shareholders have the right to redeem they have the right to redeem, in other words, or they have the right to be paid back, to be paid back what they had invested in the debentures even before, even before the maturity period elapses. Like in this case, we are told that Mali Limited has issued 10%, 20 years, 1,000 debentures. 1,000 debentures means the power value or the nominal value which is written on the face of these debentures. So it means the holders of these 10% debentures can be paid back even before these 20 years elapses. That's why they are called redeemable. They can be redeemed during the lifetime before the maturity. Now, when you talk about the yield to maturity of these type of bonds, uh, uh, debentures, we are talking about factoring in what is known as interest, which is added to what is known as the maturity or the power value of the debenture minus the market value of the debenture, which is VD, multiply everything by 1 over n and I'm going to explain every particular here divide by m plus vd divided by a2 to get the average everything multiplied by 1 minus t so in this case we're talking about where int is the interest this is the interest. We have M, in this case is the maturity or the power value or the nominal value. That is the value written on the debenture. Then we have VD is the current market value. That is the value of the debenture as it, it is trading in the market. Then you have, of course, T, which is the co corporate tax chargeable on debenture. And finally, N is the maturity period. Like in this case, the debenture is 20 years, so our N is 20 years. And if you just to explain these compound factors here, when you talk about M minus VD, we are getting the difference between maturity, the nominal value, of, which in this case is 1,000, minus the market value. This one essentially refers to, it can either be, it can be a capital gain or loss to this firm. It will be a capital gain if the firm issues the debenture whose nominal value is higher than what is trading in the market. Now you see in this case there was the power value is a thousand upon the time the debenture was issued, but in the market the debenture is one thousand two hundred. It means it was issued at a loss. Then we have M plus V D divided by two corresponding to the average investment of course by the debenture holder 
Now, <coughs> using the formula here, we have everything except interest. So for us to get interest, which is the chargeable on the debt, it's, it's supposed to be the 10% times the power value to get the interest that was charged on that particular debenture. So it's supposed to be 10 over 100 times 1,000. We get an amount of 100 shillings, Kenya shillings. Then, of course, we substitute everything to get the yield to maturity, which should be 100 into our maturity nominal value is supposed to be a thousand as per the equation minus one thousand two hundred everything to one divide by the period of maturity which is supposed to be 20 divide everything by thousand plus vd which is the current market value which is one thousand two hundred Divide by 2. Multiply everything by 1 minus T, which is 0 0.3. Because we've been told the corporate tax is 30%, which is 0 0.3. So, breaking thing, everything down, we have 100 into... This one is negative 200 times... When you divide 1 by 20... 1 divided by 20 is supposed to be 0 0.05 times negative 200 and we get 10, negative 10. So it is 100 plus negative 10 divided by 1000 plus 200 is supposed to be 200 divided by 2 is supposed to be 1100. Multiply everything by this is 0 0.7 when you subtract the two zero point seven. So essentially we have only minus ten is supposed to be ninety. So ninety divided by eleven hundred is zero point zero eight one eight one times zero point seven. So the answer times 0 0.7 is 0 0.05727. But we are looking for the yield to maturity. At what rate or at what percentage will this debenture grow until it is it, it reaches the maturity of 20 years? So it's supposed to be 5.7. To seven percent, and that is our yield to maturity. So it means this debenture will be will be growing at this particular rate until the twenty years elapses. Kindly don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.